the Urbana University Library will host the traveling exhibition Benjamin Franklin in Search of a Better World from August the 28th through October the 7th. This colorful exhibit looks at the remarkable life and achievements of one of America's most beloved personalities. For further exhibit and program information, please email benfranklin at urbana.edu or call 937-484-1041. Hi, I'm Anthony Ayersman, and this is uh, Urbana Leader. And today we have a, a, a rather a common guest, because we haven't had this kind of guest before. And his name is Eric Schunkweiler, and he has written a book called uh, The Long Way Home, which is, uh, was on Amazon.com's Breakthrough Novel Award entry. Uh, it was a finalist, right? Uh, Semi-finalist, or quarter-finalist, rather. Quarter-finalist. Well, welcome to the program. I'm glad to have you on here. Thank you. Um, Real quick, um, just to get some uh, the minor things out of the way, you're from around here. Yes, Mechanicsburg. Right. Mechanicsburg, mm -hmm. and you work in town. Yes, I do. Great, great. You don't have to tell us where you work. So. Okay. Um, now, where do you work? Sheriff's office. Sheriff's office. Okay. Well, and he has actually written, a, and it was a very good, and I've read it, and it was very good. I got to say, and. Um, The thing that got to me from the beginning, or it was right from the beginning, it was actually the first two pages, right? Because it's it's a story about uh, two friends who are have gone off to war. Yes. But that's not how it starts out. It well, it does start out that way, but you don't get that feeling that it starts out that way because it's taking place out in the middle of a field on a rock with a right. dog, and and it's two people talking, and you think you're in middle America, mm -hmm. you're in farm country. It could be Champaign County or Nebraska yeah. or any other place that uh, uh, that might have farm country. Yeah. Right. And then it, it's not until you get to the end of the second page that you realize, no, these two people are at war, and they're they're about your age. Um, at the beginning of the book, they're each uh, seventeen. They just they're dropped out of high school. They dropped out of high school. Yeah. Okay. And, um, and of course, we didn't haven't read the end. Um, and is it is David the one who is uh, uh, which which is the character that is in, is basically enjoying himself? He's uh, at war and he's in basically he's thinking it's pretty cool. I don't know that either of them really think that it's very cool. Really? Uh, but Red is the one that uh, quickly begins to excel. Excel. Mm -hmm. He's he's good at what he's doing. He he's is. a good soldier. He is. And David is not a good soldier. He's not such a good soldier. He's not as good. Uh, the fact that he's still alive, I think, means that he's an all right soldier. Oh, it means that he's an all right soldier. And they're and they're best friends, yes. or they're just people that they're they're best friends. Okay. And um, we won't ask you how it ends. Okay, please we don't. Ask you, we won't ask you how it. Ends. And uh, so, what made you? Uh, I would like to know. Was there anything in in particular that um, current news cycle? kind of stuff that made you want to write a war story or it was just something that you have always wanted to do it's it's not really something I always wanted to do uh, I've wanted to write for quite a while um, but as far as this particular story goes the origin of it is actually pretty pretty winding um, a long time ago I wrote a webcomic okay um, and and I needed a backstory for it and this is essentially the backstory okay uh, that comic fell through pretty quickly. Um, and as soon as I started writing this, I knew that this was pretty good. Um, but I think what kept me going, as far as the story goes, is the fact that I never served. And it's it's not exactly like it's dedicated to the soldiers that have, mm -hmm. that have served. Um, but it, it's certainly uh, something in that direction. Okay. And so it's a personal dedication something that you personally haven't done but for yeah. those people who have done it. Something okay. Like that, yeah. Alright, and so and, and we could say that that was the inspiration of it or the, the inspiration of, at, of this particular story or was it basically the uh, web uh, the, the soldiers um, dedicating it to them or to everyone that, that served yeah, the novel, that's where that came from. Okay. The web comic is quite that. What exactly is a web comic? Uh, yeah, almost exactly what it sounds like. It's it's, it's a comic it's book either, on the web. Yeah, it's okay. either uh, like Marvel comics on 
online or it's like okay. a little strip. It depends upon the comic. It can be very short, it can be long. Uh, you can have a single page or just two or three frames uh, for each update that you have. Now what was, in writing, in writing uh, The Long Way Home, what, what would you find, what did you think was the most, what was the hardest thing for you to do? What was, what was, what was hard for you to get past? I mean, some people that's like, you know, character development or some, something personal in their lives happens and, and, and it ends up in the book and they have to get past it somehow. Was there anything like that for you? You know, I, I hate to say it, I don't think that there was. Uh, I enjoy just about everything about writing. Um, from editing uh, to re-editing to editing for the third time, I enjoy it. Okay. Um, so you didn't find, there was nothing hard, that, nothing that was hard for you to get past? You mean like emotionally? Emotionally, yeah. Uh, sure, when? <laughs> there were times that it got somewhat emotional. Um, but whenever that happened, I thought that I was doing well. If it invoked an emotion like that in me, and I knew exactly what was going to happen, or at least I thought I did, mm -hmm. uh, then hopefully the reader's going to feel the same sort of thing. So are you the kind of writer who has like a muse or has to be inspired, or, or do you think it, it or are you the kind of writer who um, enjoys writing and knows that it's hard work and doesn't that, that doesn't bother? With what which what card category would you find yourself? Uh, I don't. I don't say that I that I invoke any sort of muse, um, but there does seem to be something that I'm not in complete control of, and, and I don't mean that in any sort of supernatural way. I just mean that there's a, a part of the subconscious that, in my case. Uh, seems to fill up throughout the day, throughout the week, whatever span of time you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, and once once that part of the brain is filled up, I can start writing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's exactly like a pitcher of water or something like that. I have to wait until it's full, and once it's full, I can I can get back to the page. Hmm. Uh, but it's it's nothing supernatural like like a muse or anything like that. Okay. And I do enjoy it. So it's something of a combination of the two. Right. But yeah, I have a brother who writes, mm -hmm. and uh, he writes novels. And he went to um, Wright State, took journalism. Of course, now he's a, you know, he moved to Las Vegas to become a dealer. Okay. Now, I tell people that he went there to become a showgirl, <laughs> and it didn't work out. So he became a dealer instead, but uh, that's our personal joke, and, mm -hmm. and I hope that he sees that when he views it online. <laughs> It's, I have to give my bro my youngest brother a shot because right? that's what you do to younger brothers. Mm -hmm. right? uh, and he uh, thoroughly enjoys it, and um, he likes the work of it. Yeah. You know, um, I'm not I'm not entirely sure that he's um, inspired to write a particular story, but he has um, uh, he just takes whatever idea pops into his head yeah. and sometimes and writes it down, and, and sometimes he revisits them, and sometimes he doesn't. But it's, it, I think, in, in, in growing up with him, I know that it's, it's the work that he likes. He likes sitting in front of his microprocessor and, and actually, you know, doing the work of it and writing it and rewriting it and tweaking it and, and rearranging it so that the, the story comes together better. Mm -hmm. And uh, whereas me, uh, you know, it's, I, I don't like the work. I, I, I hate it. And uh, you know, and I've written, I've written, I've written poetry that's been published, mm -hmm. and uh, the poetry that that I like, nobody, they all hate it. And the stuff that I think is a joke, people love. Yeah. You know? So you just never know where it's going to come from. You certainly don't. No. And now, in the course of, uh, have you written any other books? Uh, I've written something of a sequel. Called the City at Peace. City at Peace. Mm -hmm. At Peace. A City at Peace. Okay. And um, now, when did you when did you start this one? The Long Road. Um, the Long Way Home. I'm sorry. Uh, I think I started it. I want to say it was in spring semester 2006. It started out as a uh, a project for college. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a uh, supposed to be a 50 page novella. Um, then by the time I finished that and, and the semester finished out, I knew that it was going to be a full-blown novel. Now